Welcome to today's special edition of Classroom Athletics. In this episode, we're taking a look at the LCVI Road Race in Kingston, Ontario, an annual springtime event that brought out thousands of student athletes for a two kilometer course. We brought along our camera crew to take you up close and personal with all the action. The springtime event kicked off on a rainy Wednesday morning, with all the umbrellas out in full force, and these student athletes knew they had to come prepared to run in any weather. Over 1,000 runners took part, ready to show off their stuff as they made their way through residential areas. I just like the sense of competition, and it's just really fun to do, said Joyceville Public School student Jamie Woods. His friend, Jeff Berthium, was just as enthusiastic. I feel like I'm going to get first. He's the fastest one, probably the fastest one in all of Amherstview Public School. Fellow Amherstview student Lane Ferris said. Behind the scenes, however, it took more than the runners to make this road race a success. Co-conveners, Tonya Moore and Amy Healy, say this event wouldn't have been possible without the 140 LCVI students who donated their time to help out. Moore said, this is an opportunity for them to get out and practicing because their track and field season is upon them. At the end of the day, the hard work paid off for many. Medals were given out to the top three finishers in each division, with achievement ribbons awarded to the top 25 runners. Amy Healy offered her congratulations to all the runners, saying, 42 years and it almost always rains. Bayridge's road race was last week and they had awesome weather so we were bound to have terrible weather but that didn't stop the runners from having fun. We want to thank everyone involved in making the LCVI road race a safe, successful event especially to all the volunteers and runners. Tune in next time to Classroom Athletics, when we'll be taking a look at the first track and field event in the Limestone Elementary School Athletics calendar on May 25th. Until then, this is a wrap for today. From the Global News Sports Desk, thanks for watching.